are back. As you can see, there's a new face sitting yeah. next to us. Meet Marcus. Greetings, everybody. We listen. Here's the deal. Yeah. As we, as you all know, Randy retired, and he Randy did. took care of our weather for us. Mm -hmm. None of us are even remotely qualified, yeah. even less than Randy was. I was well, he isn't either, <laughs> right. and I'm not far behind. Right. So, but you're just like a smidge smarter than the rest of us when it well, comes smarter, to weather. I don't know when it comes to weather. That, but, uh, I don't know about that either. But, <laughs> but you do have kids. Right. I do have kids. That's so kidding right. with Kayla is going to be a lot better. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's oh, right. yeah. I, I, um, we, we, can, we can tag team on some stories there for sure. Absolutely. So I know, I know this is weird because yeah. obviously Indiana viewers know you incredibly mm -hmm. well. You've been on Daybreak on Wish TV for how long now? Like a long time. Well, I've been, I've been, at, I've been at Wish TV for almost nine years and Daybreak for, I think, three. Yeah. I and mean, Weekend Daybreak, you know, right. before that. So, yeah, it's been a while. So, so for our national folks mm -hmm. who, who are watching and meeting you for the first time, What's one thing that they should know about Marcus Bailey? Oh, man. I know you weren't ready for that. I have incredible hair. I love my barber. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, it takes oh, a lot of work to look that good. It's easy. This yeah. is just <laughs> seven, No, um, look, I'm a Hoosier at heart, yeah. you know, but I'm also I'm a big weather nerd. So, yes, we, we, we cover local. I'm an, I'm an in, you know, Indianapolis guy um, and work. That's the, the, the primary role. But... Um, I, I dig all national weather, man. Yeah. We get like, the, you know, Adalia hit in Florida yesterday. I was glued to some of the coverage, both nationally and then checking out the local stations, yeah. just kind of seeing what happens. So weather is just like, it, it is a job for me, but it's, it's definitely a hobby too that I, yeah. I very much enjoyed. So yeah, that's cool. And you're right. Like some of the time or some, well, that's pretty generous. But <laughs> I, try, I try to be right. Yeah. I mean, that's, it's always the joke. Um, you know, the, I, I get that. I mean, my, my mom says it all. She's like, wish I could be wrong, <laughs> wrong half the time to keep my job. <laughs> That's the worst when your own parents hate on you. My parents did that to me all the time. I know. Well, I used to also say, like, my mom's favorite meteorologist is Randy Ellis. So I finally made it to number one, which well, is what exciting. I did, because my, my family would do the same sort of thing. They'd be like, you know, oh, you work for the media. And I, so I just switched to lifestyle. Yeah. And they're, Smart. Yeah, I have yeah, to say, my parents have liked me more smart. since yeah. I switched to lifestyle. So, so you have kids. We yeah. mentioned those. I think yes. we have some pictures of you and yeah. your beautiful family. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Thankfully, they got all their looks from their mother. So yeah, I, well, I was um, going to say that. That's well, yeah. That's that's my beautiful wife, Carrie. My three kids, Viana, my daughter. She is, my goodness, she's going to be eleven here in a couple oh of my weeks. Gosh. And then Colt is uh, nine, and then Pace is six years old. All three of them. This is my um, first year. Um, all three of them are now in full day school. Hey, right. how about that? Congratulations. A big step. That was actually just a few weeks ago. Had another first day, so. Is, isn't that life changing? Like, especially it's for you on your on your shift. Yeah, because I'm out of here, like, in a little bit, you yeah. know, and so I have the rest of the, the morning and afternoon to, I played a lot of golf. Bad golf. You'd think I'd get a little bit better from playing more, but being out there as much as you are. Right. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's kind of a weird feeling because I mean I've been a dad now for eleven years. I've always had a kid to come home to, even yeah. working early morning, and now it's like the house is empty. This is weird. So all those things you can get done for Carrie and, and That's well yeah. and that's the thing. She's like, You golfed again, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a disgusting look now. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, We're really happy to have you. We are I'm very excited happy. to be here. So this is gonna be fun. You wanna do weather for us? Is that what I'm supposed to do now? If you want. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd love to. Yeah. Right, great. Let's uh, talk about what's happened. Like, big story has been the uh, the heat, the humidity, not just in the Midwest, but really over much of the eastern part of the country. That is all going to change here uh, over the, uh, the next 24 hours, honestly. We've got some storms that are going to fire up in the Midwest. Could have a few strong storms. Central Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee. That area in yellow, some gusty winds. I don't think it's a widespread issue. No outbreak type of day or anything like that. The heat that the Midwest has been experiencing now kind of shifts to the East Coast. Near record highs for the day on Thursday. You're talking low to mid-90s, basically from Boston to Philly to D.C., Richmond, and Raleigh. Again, some of those records are into the low 90s, so some of those could get broken. There's kind of some late-season heat there. But good news on the way. Because we've got some cooler air diving in. Look at the highs for tomorrow, especially up in the Midwest. Oh. Chicago, Minneapolis, highs around 70. They're going to have lows in the 50s. And that's probably going to carry over into the weekend. Just talked about Adelia hitting Florida. we got another tropical system that we're watching. This is Lee. It's a tropical storm. But over the next few days, this is going to become a major Category 4 hurricane. Now, this only takes us out until Monday of next week. But you can see the aim and the trajectory 
kind of flirting with the East Coast. Now, we don't, we, that's, that's way down the line. It would be kind sure. of late week. But certainly something that should be on the radar if you have travel interests that are going to be either in the Caribbean or if you're going down to the south and east, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, that kind of thing, that could be a big story. When we say, obviously, you know, it's, it's a ways out, but I'm sure all those folks that just dealt with it absolutely are looking at it and going, right. fresh in your I'd mind. Rather, rather not do that again. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my parents are going on an anniversary cruise in the Caribbean. See, and that's, that's a tough tough time yeah. to be out there. Because I'm you just, scared now. Well, hopefully they, I, I, like a lot of those, they have like insurance, I think, yeah. at least this time of year, I would hope. Yeah. I know, really hope my that. dad did that. He's going to get a call after. Thank you for informing. I feel See, this informed. Is why, hey, this, this is, is what why we're here, here for. <laughs> That's right. right. I won't even send him a bill. That's a kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just wow, send Marcus. It to you. Marcus, thank you as hey. always. Glad to have you. Yeah, man. good to it's be here.